Welcome back to Geppetto Creations. Today we're going to be making these 5 inch discs for a customer in Arizona that is going to make uh, yarn holders. Each disc is 5 inches in diameter, has a 3 quarter inch hole in the middle and a chamfered edge all the way around. Uh, he wants me to make 100 of them so let's get started. I've got the CNC machine set up over here as you can see. Also, in a, this is the Laguna IQ series with the handheld control. I wanted to show you the modification that I made here on the dust collector. Uh, the one that came with the machine uh, it was just a little bit too tall and it kept hitting the uh, hold down clamps that I used so I cut it shorter, added the plastic skirting here around the edge and modified the dust collector to hold the four inch hose. So let me set things up here and we'll get started. The first step that the machine is going to do, it's going to cut 23 quarter inch holes because I'm going to get 25 inch discs out of each two by three foot piece of plywood. It's going to come back then and cut the circles out. first of 20 holes. I'm going to pause this and pick it up later on. Okay, as you can see the machine has finished cutting the 23 quarter inch holes and that the dust collector does a nice job with the modifications that I made to it. The machine is now going to come traverse back over to the origin area and it's going to start to cut the outside diameter of the circles. It's only going to cut half inch deep into the three quarter inch plywood. Then we're going to come back and chamfer it. One down, 19 more to go. Okay, as you can see, the machine has finished cutting the 20 circles. Now it's only cut them half inch deep into three quarter inch plywood. And this is the router bit I was using. I took it out. It's a 730 seconds down spiral carbide router bit and I'm going to replace it with a half inch 90 degree v-groove bit. This bit is going to put a chamfer around the outside edge. I have it offset one hundredth of an inch and it's going to put a nice detail on this edge. So let me change the bit and we'll get that started. Okay, the machine is starting up. It's going to go into position and cut that chamfer. Notice how it clears 
with the modified dust collector clears my hold down clamps. Previously I couldn't do this because it would hit, so I was running the machine without dust collection. Put a nice little detail on this edge. As you can see, we finished cutting all the chamfers in these edges here. They all have a nice, uh, about a quarter inch chamfer on the side. So now I'm going to take the V-groove bit out and I'm going to put the straight cutter in and finish it off.